Hi, I'm Mark. Thanks for the update and thanks for the footage. Uh, just a quick recap or quick review uh, and thoughts regarding your current action. Uh, first of all, um, congratulations have got to be given for making some good progress. I was looking at some of your uh, some of your previous swings that you sent across, particularly the early ones uh, the other day before looking at this and you've made some massive progress. Things are looking a lot more comfortable. Things are looking a lot more um, natural. Tilts are going in there at a much more consistent rate, a much more appropriate rate. There's no severe flexing forward or nowhere near as much severe flexing forward during the downswing as we had before. It's still your action. What you were saying in your, in your email was correct. Uh, you, still, you do still need to work and continue to work on the same sort of pieces on the way back, etc. Um, by and large, I mean, the key piece now is getting rid of the forward bend from P6 to P9. You flex forward very well, but unfortunately you don't then extend um, as good as you should uh, on the way through. But just a quick look at the backswing first before we start. I mean, this one down the line is really, really nice. There's some good tilts in there. Nice side bend in the pelvis. Straight leg, right leg straightening, left leg flexing forward. Great looking position at P4. Uh, you always had that nice position, but it was sort of a little bit manufactured, whereas now it's looking much more natural. Left shoulder working down at a nice steady rate. Left knee starting to flex and move inwards and forwards as it goes back. There's a tendency just to drop the upper axis back a little bit as you start your downswing. Part of the reason I feel for that is that you've put a massive emphasis on hip slide, which is quite common when guys have been working on stack and tilt. What you've got to remember is, and I think I've sent across a PDF to you, uh, showing you Charlie Wee's um, movement of the hips during the downswing. Yeah, it's not all hip slide. The hip slide that you put in only necessarily needs to be a four or five inch of fur. It's the tucking of the hips that's important to continue the linear movement. So linear movement in the downswing, when we look at someone like Charlie Wee, is a combination of a hip slide from P4 to P5. So the hips are sliding. And this is relating to the linear movement, okay? So the hips slide. Now it's the extension and the tucking of the hips that gives the impression that the hips are moving forward towards the target during the downswing. So it's a combination of hip slide and tucking the hips that gives you the linear movement. Now in your case, there's a lot of emphasis put on hip slide and flexing forward P4 to P6, but not a great deal of emphasis put on the tucking of the hips. And we can see there that we lose our inclination to the ground quite quickly and consequently the tilt in our eyes. So maintaining the tilts at P9 is difficult. In order to stabilise the axis and stop it drifting forward as we can see there, we have to learn to tuck the hips. So during practice we want to be hitting a lot of shots where we stop at P9. And when we stop at P9 we want to feel like the hips are tucked rather than being flexed backwards in this manner. So key thoughts for you to get rid of the forward bend which we still maintain from P6 to P9 and to stabilize the axis and stop it drifting forward we've got to learn to tuck the hips and when we're also doing that drill what I want you to focus on is maintaining your, maintaining your tilts longer into the finish. You can see that Mike's maintained the tilt in his eyes and the tilt forward in his spine, if you will, the, the inclination to the ground much longer. Your tendency is to lose your inclination to the ground and lose the tilt in your eyes that you have at P6 too early in the swing. So a lot of swings where you're hitting, stopping at chest height, feeling that the hips are tucked underneath you and feeling that you've got the maximum amount of right tilt and feeling that you have maintained your eye line through the golf ball.
It's a great looking swing. It's coming on a tree. It just needs tidying up. There's plenty of hip slide in there. There's not quite enough tuck into the hips during the three swing. Good luck to it. Good luck with it. And I look forward to charting your progress and hearing from you in the coming weeks. Well done.